video is ready to go. Um, of course, there's lots of other things you can do inside of Encore with Blu-ray, like pop-up menus. The last thing you're going to want to do is go to your build window. Go ahead and select your format. In our case, uh, we're going to make a Blu-ray. Again, you do have your choice between DVD, a Flash interactive file, or again, a Blu-ray. So we'll click Blu-ray. And I want to go ahead and check my project for errors. So I click on Check Project and then Start. Um, it found an end action was not set on my behind the scenes, my double identity behind the scenes. Go ahead and click on your behind the scenes and you'll notice that the end action is indeed not set. So I'm going to go ahead and tell it that the end action is to go back to the menu. I'll go back to build and check my project. Click start. There are no errors so now I'm ready to burn. Um, another great window to look at just before you burn if, if you want to see how your DVD or Blu-ray flows. Click on the flow chart. I'm going to hit the tilde key so I can take this up full screen. And this will show me how my DVD is put together. It tells me that my media is here. From there I go to a Blu-ray intro, uh, Helmley animation. I then go to my main NTSC menu and then I've got a bunch of different clips and then an end action is to go back to the main menu. So this is how the flow charting works. Okay, let's go ahead and tell it that we want to output our Blu-ray disc. If you need to burn a lot of disc and you want to keep the image, you're going to want to set your output to Blu-ray image. This will allow you to burn it directly with an Encore again, or you could burn it with a utility uh, on your Windows machine or your Mac. If you're using Mac, I typically recommend Toast, uh, or again, you can use Encore, which works excellent. On the PC, you can use Nero or any of the other um, utilities. So I'm going to go ahead and just create using my current project. The next thing you should see is a list of the supported burners. Right now, you'll see that my Digistore burner uh, has come up, which uses a Panasonic or Michitsa mechanism. Again, this is a fantastic burner. I use mine nearly every day. It's been uh, very, very reliable for me. It'll go ahead and tell you the firmware version. Occasionally, you may need to update your firmware. So it quickly tells you uh, what's going on. Now, you'll notice if I select DVD, it's going to go ahead and detect that I have two burners on my uh, Mac in this particular case. I've got my internal DVD burner and my Blu-ray multi-drive. So again, if I go back to Blu-ray, it's just going to select my Blu-ray drive. And I can go ahead and select Auto Erase uh, Rewritable Disk. I do highly recommend that you use BDRE Media. Again, uh, you can use any uh, high quality media that you want to. The Panasonic Media is good. Uh, I myself use uh, Verbatim. Uh, but again, by using BD-RE Media, this will save you a ton of money when you're new at authoring. And at this point, all you have to do is go ahead and double check your settings. Again, you can go over here and select 25 gigs or 50 gigs, depending on the media size. Typically 25 uh, will do it. If you want to include a ROM folder on there for playback on a computer, you can include pictures or PDFs or other executable files in your BD-ROM content. So you can go ahead and browse for that. Again, that's only uh, works on a computer, uh, but it's nice that you can go ahead and add that. And again, at this point, you're ready to go, and you'll just click Build. Encore now is going to ask you to insert your media. Go ahead and click OK. Once Encore detects the media, it will start the process of creating your Blu-ray. Now, what it's doing at this point is it's actually going to go ahead and create an image file uh, for you, whether you choose to save an image file or whether you choose to burn directly to disk it's going to create an image file either way. You'll notice after it transcodes your assets, it'll start building your streams and then writing it to disk. And the last step is to test your newly burned Blu-ray disk in your Blu-ray player and make sure that all the menus are working the way that you intended.
And that's a quick look at Encore CS4, working with different types of media and burning to Blu-ray disc.